actually enjoy getting into certain conversations with my kids. Uh, my oldest son, for example, made a comment the other day that I overheard telling his friends that he didn't understand the appeal of Star Trek. Now, this made sense coming from him. He's a huge Star Wars fan. I grew up on Star Trek. I was in my single digit years when the original episodes first aired. Of course I like it. Um, but the fun part about this was he and I got into a comical discussion about it. We didn't take it serious. At least I didn't, and I'm pretty sure he didn't. But it was all in good, clean fun. But it reminded me of a time when people used to say, oh, you can't like this if you like that. And I'm not sure I ever understood that. And here's why. The vast majority of my teenage years was spent immersed in the wide variety of musical offerings in the 70s. I could choose anything I wanted. It was, it was a great time. But I remember the conversations. Well, if you're a fan of Keith Emerson, you can't be a fan of Rick Wakeman and vice versa. What are you talking about? Of course you can. They're both excellent keyboardists. They both create really cool stuff. And who's to say that you can only be a fan of one or the other? That's silly. Um, In the 70s, anybody who knew me knew that I was a fanatic of Kansas. But it didn't mean I couldn't like sticks. Now, obviously, back then, limited budget, before I actually started working for a living, if I have a choice between buying the new Kansas album and the new sticks album, I usually bought Kansas. But didn't mean I didn't like sticks. In fact, I have several of their albums and I've seen them live twice. So it's not like I went up to the ticket offices and they say, well, who's your favorite band? Kansas. You can't buy these sticks tickets. No, it's not like that. You can be a fan of anybody you want. You can have favorites, but you can still be a fan. I mean, I look at it the same way with, uh, this was a good one, DC versus Marvel. I had co-workers who, if they were huge fans of Marvel, they never said anything good about DC, and I never understood that. I wasn't sure if it was a matter of they simply didn't like DC, or they were convinced that if they said anything good about DC their tongues would catch fire. See, I never had that problem. And it was, like I said before, based on how I developed that mentality in the 70s by having such a wide range of music to choose from. Now, as it turns out, I prefer DC, but there are certain things about Marvel that I really do like. So I can, I can choose anything I want. There you go. Now, this is because all of these things I've talked about are entertainment. They're of the arts. You should be able to pick and choose what you like. And you should feel perfectly okay with being a fan of multiple artists, multiple productions. That's cool with me. Now, sports is kind of a different beast. It's entertainment for those of us who aren't any good at playing, <laughs> but it's also competitive, almost to conflictual. And as I have found out, and many of you who love sports have found out, there are certain fan bases who do not know how to behave themselves. But that said, You generally don't find people who like two different teams in the same league. 
Maybe if you move from one part of your respective country to another part, you still like your old team, you know, the team you grew up watching, but you've adopted this team that's now closer to you. Yeah, that happens. But in general, fan bases usually don't cross. I mean, for example, in hockey, the fans of the New York Rangers are not going to be fans of the New York Islanders. And those fans are not going to be fans of the New Jersey Devils. And those fans are not going to be fans of the Philadelphia Flyers. And those fans are not going to be fans of the Pittsburgh Penguins. And those fans are not going to be fans of the Washington Capitals. And those fans are not going to win. You get my point. You just can't do that. It's not a good idea. Because where would the rivalry be? Where would the conflictual nature be? That's kind of what sports are. Well, one thing about the conversations I have with my son as far as what we like better. They're taken in good nature. We don't take it serious. But sometimes they can be fun as hell. I made the comment to him, I was like, here's, here's the appeal of Star Trek for people like me. We like it because it's more intellectual than Star Wars. And to prove my point, I had to be a jerk and make the quotes, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few, versus, Anakin, you're breaking my heart. He got the point, but we had fun with it. Um, and he mocks certain parts of Star Wars like I mock certain parts of Star Trek. Who cares? We like the shows that we like. But there's nothing stopping us from liking the other show. It's a very simple thing to keep in mind. Live long and prosper and go enjoy something. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot. Vulcans don't smile. Whoops.